Hello, we're going to take a look at the manual maintenance procedure which you will need to perform on your devices. We recommend that you should carry out these short cleaning steps at least once a week in order to keep your equipment in the best condition. First of all, a little reminder that all of this information is outlined in detail in your machine's manual, which if you haven't done so already, we recommend reading through. Your printer is a precision, high performance device and the more you look after it, the more it will look after you. Let's start by taking a look at the recommended equipment that you will need in order to carry out a manual clean. Also, please ensure that you have adequate safety wear. To start with, remove any media from the machine. When you have done so, within the menu panel, navigate to the sub-menu, then the maintenance menu, and select cleaning. The menu screen will then direct you through taking off the covers. Once you have removed the maintenance cover, the print head will travel to the left hand side of the machine so that you can access the print heads. You have 30 minutes in which to complete your clean. Dip a cleaning swab into the cleaning solution as shown. First of all, we are going to clean the print head surrounds. Here we are looking to clean any excess ink from the print head frames and the black plastic head guards. Clean all the way around the print heads, but note that we do not clean the print head surfaces. You can use a torch at this stage to look for any loose hairs or fluff that may have attached to the print head and use the swabs or tweezers to remove if necessary. Next we can remove the right hand side cover to access the wipers and the cap tops. You will need to clean all around the wiper blades to remove any ink. You may need to gently rub at the surface of the wiper if ink has accumulated and dried there. Take the chance to check the condition of the wiper. If the wiper looks old and worn it may need replacing. To replace the wipers simply unhook the tab at the bottom with a pair of tweezers and pull the old one out. New ones can be inserted, securing the tabs back in place. Again you can use your torch or a light to check the area for any fluff or hairs. Next we're going to clean the cap top. The cap top creates an airtight seal on the underside of the print head when it's not in use. You'll need to clean around the gasket to ensure that the seal is clean and working properly. Clean the plastic surround and the rubber seal. There shouldn't be any need to clean inside the cap top. There will be ink showing here as it runs any waste ink into the waste ink bottle. Be sure to clean the maintenance compartment once the print head has returned to the right hand side of the machine. This would normally involve wiping the surfaces to get rid of any built up dust or fluff. That's it. 
When the menu panel says finish, press enter and follow the instructions to replacing any covers. If you see ink on any other surfaces, you can use the cleaning solution and swabs to wipe it away. Any painted parts of the machines can be cleaned with isopropanol, as this will not stain or affect the finish.